Hurricanes create a lot of wind. As a result, trees can fall down on roads, homes, power lines. Naomi Washington shares trips, tips rather, from a tree service on how to prepare before a hurricane hits and what to do if you have damage. John King says he loves the trees in his front yard, but with Hurricane Helene on the way, it feels like a risk. If you look around, there's trees all over my house. I've already had several trees cut down, but there's still a lot that are concerning. Keene Tree Service owner Aaron Keene says there's less to worry about if you are doing preventative maintenance to trees on your property. He says the cost to fix the damage fallen trees cause after a storm is much higher. You could be looking from anywhere between, you know, three to four thousand dollars up to, to twenty thousand dollars. He says the cost depends on the size of the fallen trees, how many there are, and what it takes to get them off the home safely without causing further damage. Keen says trees naturally grow towards sunlight, but that means a tree could lean in the direction of your home. He says in situations like this, it's good to get those trees removed or adjusted before a big storm. And when you see fallen trees on the side of the road, do not go near them. You don't know if it's a uh... If it's taken down an energized line, um, trees have pressure points on them. Um, it's, it's all we always advise our customers to not try to cut the tree themselves. Call a professional. Keen says trees can be heavy too, so leave it to the professionals to pick up debris with their equipment. In Macon, Naomi Washington, 13 WMAZ News. Keen says tree service crews like his will be around tomorrow helping to remove fallen trees. He says it's though. Good to be patient also when you're driving and find different routes if trees block your normal path.